All right, so here we have a synchro transmission. George has our bell housing. Make sure the surfaces are both clean and to meet the bell housing and the transmission together. We use a liberal amount of RTV sealant, making sure you have a continuous bead. You see George going round and round. Some people use uh, old style gaskets. We recommend RTV, we don't use a paper gasket or anything. Give it a good smear around. You do not want any gaps in your sealant because then you will have Swepco 210, red drool coming out between your bell housing and your transmission body. up there. George is really working it. <laughs> One thing that we skipped is putting in this the gasket there. George, you want to give a quick explanation on how you put that gasket in? Take your rubber input shaft seal. <clears throat> I put grease on the outside edge of the seal to make it go inside the bell housing better. And get a socket or whatever size fits over the top of it the best and pound this until it stops before you put it on the tranny. Do this on the ground. Yeah. Just make sure that your seal's got a good seal and that you don't have any folds or, or it's crooked. Yeah, you will have issues if that seal is not flush, flat, and, and uh, tight in there. And then once you've got it set up here, on the dowel pins, you take your bell housing bolts here and you bolt it to the case. <laughs> 